equipment operator base. Operator Basic Navy Navy Tra one four zero eight one All right, we did this one. We're on chapter ten. Um chapter ten grade, graders and scrapers. Enable construction graders and scrapers are essential tool and used in the construction of air, airfields, ammo, ammo supply points, roads, and workers, and site work. The primary purpose for the grader is to cut and move material with a blade, final shaping, the finishing scrapers, large earth moving with a uh, large earth mover with uh, capability of digging, loading, hauling, dumping, and spreading material. The chapter covers the characteristic basic principle of the graders and scrapers operation. Graders. Graders are multiple purpose you know, machines used for the primary general structure maintenance of the road and ways, moving large amounts of material laterally inside casting. Additionally, the grader can be used for the crowning and leveling roads, make, mixing and spreading materials, ditching and banking, sloping, bla blade mixing, asphalt materials, snow re removal, um, scarfing. Graders are required hydraulically operated with a single engine unit. The single engine provides um, power for all gradery functions, steering system, but mold boards, scar 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 scarifier, hydraulic control, the dust of the grader at times must be hauled to and from job site. The grader has an advantage to, um, over other heavy equipment because it's capable of traveling over the road under its own power. Note, when the hauling a grader with a tractor trailer, ensure the height of the grader clear cab clears all overhead obstacles. A variety of makes the models of graders are used with the naval construction force. Each operator is responsible for reading the operator's manual to obtain detailed information each make and model. Grader components. The basic grader components are primary mover and grade mechanism. The primary purpose of the grader are shown in figure 10.1. 10.1 shows your principal parts of the motor and grader. Starting with the engine assembly, tandem drive assembly, circle and mold board and drawbar, frame and scarifier. Your primary mover is a rubber tire tractor power driven with a four or six cylinder diesel engine mounted at the rear. The primary mo mover it has a four rear um, mounted single tire driven with a tandem drive through gears and chains and single steering axle tandem. The tandem drive with the grader allows climbing over the rocks, logs, humps, and um, permits pa passing them from the directions and ditches one at wheel at a time. Having the capability to operate in this manner, one rear wheel can raise or lower while the other main t remains in the same level with the, fr with the front wheels, thereby holding the grader on level terrain, figure in 10 two. This is very important and the, the rest of the grader does not rise, fall when working on uneven terrain. The grader blade does not vary in elevation as the grader passes over its work. Articulated framing steering. These, some of the graders have frames that are hinged just forward of the, shows the tandem drive and shows the articulated grade, uh, grader. Straight, articulated, and crab. Figure 10.4 shows the engine assembly and the frame. Figure 10.5 shows the front axles. In the quarters and quicker turn, uh, quick, quick turnaround at the end of the pass is enable the grader to carefully fold blade material around the curve car cab grab steering help to compensate side drift when traveling. Turning the window keeps the tan with the firm foot when the clearing the ditches increase stability on side slope work. No, before articulating the grader, um, be aware of the position of the grader blade. The blader angle that an acute position articulating the grader, grader sh sh um, sharply can position the rear tires to run into the blade. Oh, sorry, I, re I read that wrong. Engine and articulating power by the pair of hydraulics, the articulated frame still allows the increase of the productive stability articulated with its short running radius conventional and greater that allows easier maneuvering in the close quarters, quick and turn around and into the classes, enable the grader to carefully fold the blade material around the cra crab curve. The crab steering helps compensate side drift and turning in windrow, keeps the tan tandems of the firm fitting on the clear ditches, increases stability of the side slope. Work. Um, note, before articulating the grader, be aware of the position of the grader blade. The blade a angled in an acute position, articulating with the grader shape sharply can position the rear tires to run into the blade frame. The frame connected with the front axle extends the full length of the grade and is high enough to allow the space in carrying manipulating with a grade mechanism. The front axle is compound lower section and carries weight with the grader oscillating at on a center point hinged with the bottom of the wheel spindle with the upper section with the axle hinged at the top of the spindle allowing the front wheels to lean as, as it turns figure 10.5. The mold board is the cutting edge end of bits attached to it is called the blade. The blade is a working um, tool for the grader that can be lifted and lowered, rotated toward and forward and backward shifting one side over the other angle horizontal 10.6. 
Ten six, uh, ten six shows the mole board, circle knee, um, side sl- shifting gear and end bit and bolts and cutting edge. Figure ten seven shows the blade, heel and toe, the toe and the heel. The cutting edge bits and, and bolts that are on mole board act as wear plates must be replaced in reverse of work when working on brown. In most cases, bolts will have to be replaced too. You know, always keep enough cutting edge at the end of the bits holding uh, hand together um, to protect the mold bore from wear and damage. The length of the blade is normally 12 to 14 feet. The curved shape of the blade causes dirt to roll and mix and is cut and, cut and move. The rotary movement of the dirt combined with the angle blow causes a side cast of the dirt front drift of the material. When the blade is angled to one position ahead of the other, the two terms used to designate the blade ends are they are the heel and the toe of the figure ten seven show the heel with the leading edge of the blade. The heel is the trailing trailing edge when the blade is turned with so the toe is the your is to your left. As you sit in the operator's seat, the material side cast to the right and slip spill. Figure ten A, ten B, um figure ten nine spur pinion gear. Figure 1010, draw bar, ball ball and socket, draw bar. Alright, figure um, 1011, ball, socket, connection. Over the heel, when the toe of the blade is to your right with the material wall side cast to the left and spill off the heel of the bone board is supported with a held position with the curved brackets and circle knees and side shift guides as shown in figure 106. They are called the attached underside of the rotary ring called the circle. The cycle is the circle of the two ring, ring gear with a rotate with the supporting frame and the in circle reverse mechanism. The circle teeth may be integral, internal in figure 10 A and view A, figure 10 A B, depending on the makeup of the model with the gra- greater. The circle, the circle is turned with the spur pinion gear, figure 10 9. Mesh of the circle teeth, the spur pinion gear is co- held by the draw bar and is controlled by the lever operator's cab. And in spur pinion gears allow rotating the circle to des- desired blade angle position. All right, the draw bar is either V-tape or V-type, V or T-shaped connection between the front of the greater frame and the circle. Figure 1010, the draw bar holds the circle ridge and fastened to the ball socket to allow the angular movement from side to side up and down. Figure 1011, the draw bar carries a horizontal load, a full horizontal load on the blade. The other compa- components be for, provide vertical and side support. Your scarifier, the scarifier is a hydraulically controlled unit with a set of the teeth that break up the material to be compacted. Figure 1012 shows your scarifier. The penetra- by, to the penetrated um, by the blade. The scarifiers either push, um, pull, or push with, um, through the material depending on the make of the model with the grade. The position of the scarifier unit with equipment in 10 12 show the two types of location scarifier on the grade. Are the teeth consisting of the sh- um, slender shanks with a replaceable cap of the same with the V shaped bar with the figure 1013? The shanks are wedged and clipped in place by the adjusted height with the removed completely. A scarifier with all the teeth is used to shallow, pretension, light work, and for the harder and deeper penetration, remove either other tool. Figure 1013 shows scarifier teeth um, replaceable. Greater operations. Although the grader is multiple purpose machine, the capable of doing a variety of the jobs, the performance for the grader depends largely on the skill of the operator, the extensive of the skill to perform effectively. The greater operators obtain with the, through practice and on the job experience. Wheeling. The proper use of the front wheels to gain um, greater aid of the both steering and grading and greater leaning on top. Um, lean the top of the figure 1014 shows proper wheeling. Figure 1015 shows wheeling in the ditch on uh, slope. Um, proper lean with the direction and flow of the material over the heel of the blade. For example, as shown in figure um, 1014, view of the operator seal with the toe of the blade, extend with the right over the greater sassing with the ma- material to the left. The material cut for at the toe of the blade cuts the pulling force exerted by the front end of the greater, wanting to pull the greater to the right by the leading of the top of the wheels to the left of the conner axle the pulling tor- force. The greater ditcher sloping is shown in figure 1015 and the lean over the top of the wheels enough to keep the vertical work position. The wheel lean the technique will be following. Keep the greater from the drifting down in the bottom from the fore slope, keeping the greater wheels from climbing the walls on the back slope. All right, figure time 1015 shows wheel lining on a ditch slope. All right, um... Well, on high bank cutting operations, lean the top of the wheel towards the bank, shown in figure 1016, with the bank engaged with the bank cut, so the pushing force wanting to push the greater away from the bank. When the wheel con- counteracts the force, help keep the blade properly positioned in bank cutting. Figure 1016 shows wheel on the high bank and cutting operations. Um, 
Turning around when chop gun confined with the short stretch and air with the blade, with the rotating the blade forward in reverse grade positions require circle reverse movement over the only about 70 degrees when the reverse blading um, figure 1017 when the blade is cutting past the normally made in the reverse while the side casting of the windrow passes in the na- made on the forward strip of the solving, uh, solving saving valuable time and speed. Figure 1017 shows changing the blade from forward to reverse. Operations eliminating frequent tur- turning around with a greater note that reversing the grader is only for operators who have developed superb skill in greater operation. For reversing the blade, scarifier units will adjust in the front of the blade behind the front axle. Move all the scarifiers to fully retract the scarifier unit. This allows the clearly unit of the changing the direction of the blade. The reverse blade is set with the blade in so the toe and just outside of the rear of the tires and heel side cast outside of the front of the tires on the opposite side. No, the sto- um, store of the scarifier teeth in the collateral equipage and location as they, uh, so they will not be lost. The operator responsible for all the scarifier teeth assigned to the grader. When you are grinding the, on a, grading on an object, wherefore the pass is 1,000 feet, the most efficient grade in the re- re- resource is a resource, verser and the va- rack, um, grader for the entire distance of the starting point with the turning around continuing work far end of the show in figure 1018. When the grading of the product where to pass a thousand feet or more is then is then more efficient turning the grader around the starting blade in the, um, from the far end back of the starting position shown in figure 1019. The combined maneuver advantage of the leading in front of the wheel's rear tandem as are, are big. Figure 1018 um, shows the 1,000 feet or less uh, return in reverse or unit. Figure um, 1019 shows turning around over a thousand. Um, over and turning around, turning the grader after the turn beginning where we work here. Helping to turn the grader around with the construction project, figure 1020 shows a simple technique for the turning the grader around. The wheels lean with the direction A of the bank across the ditch and complete turn C, keeping the front wheel of the roadway leaning the wheel of the direction on the turning. Make the grader turn with ease. Now always back acro- across the ditch, leave the front wheels on the roadway bla- um, blade pitch. The blade pitch adjustment working tool supports the cutting action of the blade. It's hydraulically controlled lever operator cab figure. 1021 show the different blade pitch adjustments. Figure 1021 show the blade t- pitch adjustments. A, B, C, and D. Um, all right. Um, this shows A, B um, for your turning grader technique. First, you A, B, and D, and E. For normal grade operation with the upper position of the blade for the greater cutting action, the backward pitch is used for the greater mixing, rolling, acting with the material being side t- tasted. Using slight forward pitch when spreading and finishing, maintaining surface of material, you have the forward, um, full forward pitch of the pitch accomplished with the partial compaction surface of material assured with the filling at any low spots. When selecting the correct blade pitch, you have to think about the type of the operation, type of the material, depth, and speed of the operation experience, practice, and enhance the skills and know how much of the pitch position achieve the best blading result for the type of the material. The scarifier and scarifying is breaking over the hard with the compact of the material with the scarifier on the greater the decision to scarify the road and not depends availability of the water to obtain more proper moisture content material amount in the traffic of the travel of the road. The proper moisture content supports the binding of the material required for the compaction, also even the dust control. Just placing filling material on the dirt road to fill ruts and pit hole, potholes um, is a temporary fix. The fill material does not bind in ruts and potholes, therefore will not remain um, in place. The proper way to reshape the dirt road in full ruts and potholes is to scarify the surface and over the, to the depth of the depressions, then they break up all the compacted surrounding surface materials. After the scarifying of the material blade, the mixing of the surface materials that reshape the road and compact. Figure 1022 shows the scarifying tool. A is the pin, 2 is B is the cap, um, C is the shank, and D is the lock wedge. Figure 1023 shows the marking the cut. Okay, um, to scarify extreme holding condensation material, remove the alternator scarifier, alternate scarifier teeth help you be easy to pass the scarifier through the material. Caution, never make sharp turns until the scarifier teeth are in the ground. Make sharp turns damages, um... Never make sharp turns when the scarifier teeth are in the ground. Make sharp turns damage the scarifier, but um, possible bends or other breaks of teeth. During present um, pre-start operation, check the scarifier teeth for the wear. Make caps and worn enough to ca- um, cause the damage to shank or play for the cap on figure 1022. 1040, 20, 1024 shows the 45 degree position of the blade. Blade at zero angle, blade at 45 degree angle. 1025 shows the ditch cut. 
Ditch cut. The first step performed perform with a remote road project was established during the normal um, through the use of ditch to control the ditch. You must know how to cut the straight ditch line. Make sure the ditch line stakes and fit the plans. The first cut makes of the marking cut. The marking cut is three to four inches of depth made within the toe of the blade. The toe of the blade is then pos is in position in line with the outside edge of the front tire. Cutting the blade pitch adjust for the top of the bottom of the edge of the bowl board and are aligned with the perpendicular to the ground. The marking the cut is technique used easier grade control and straighter ditches. After marking cut, position the blade cut about 45 degrees and was to um, perform the efficient ditch cut. The toe and the blade in figure 224. The toe blade in the position aligned with the center of the lead tire, the wheel, um, and then the heel of the blade is raised allowed with the windrow of the form the either inside or the outside of the rear wheels from 1025. It is beside necessary to remove the scare fire teeth to keep them from interfering with the blade. Um, do no, do not forget to lean the top of the front of the wheel direction flow of the, of the cut of the material. All right, after each ditch cut, the material should be windrow spread toward the middle of the road away from the ditching operation. Technique should be shoulder pickup. This um, is called shoulder pickup. To spread the windrow with them from the ditch of the position from the gray tire of the inside of the windrow, sh the side shift of the blade with the circle in the position outside of the windrow is shown in figure 1026. The wheel is positioned to allow the windrow side cast inside of the rear tandem, and the purpose of the shoulder pickup is to move the windrow away from the forward slope, forward slope in the ditch. Figure 1025 shows the shoulder pickup. All right, next path, path, um, next path to make is the spreading path. The blade circle with a shifted back around uh, under the greater frame. The braider straight over the windrow with the toe of the blader. And I'm positioned inside of the front of the tire heel. Position the side calf of the material outside of the rear tandem of the tires. Depending on the amount of the material, the spreading operation may require several passes. After spreading material, the dates are cut. There should be picked up and shoulders picked up. Shell, shed, spreading pass are performed until the desired depth of the ditch is completed. Um, Completed. When this back slope of the ditch needs to be cut, figure 1028, the position of the circle blade within the resting of the bottom of the fore slope so that the material flow inside the right rear tandem tires. The toe of the blade should be forward toward the front of the right front tire. The top of the wheels leaned outward toward the back um, slope. All right. When the ditch is in is to have the B bottom, you um you may now have to perform a clean pass on the fore slope to remove the material from the back slope. Cut after the fore slope is clean, before warm of shoulder pickup and spread pass to finish the ditching operations. All right. Ten twenty eight shows a back back slope cut. Notice that it's the circles away from there and off to the forty five. All right, flat bottom ditching. Flat bottom ditching is required process as follows: starting um, flows original ditch, di um, V ditch A shown in figure 1029 for the ditch cutting procedure with another V ditch. After the V ditch is completed, next step is to make a flat cut within the bottom of the ditch performed by placing complete the length of the blade into the ditch. The toe is positioned at the base of the back slope. The heel is positioned in the side cast of the windrow inside the rear of the tandem. The tire C the operation move the material of the fore slope. Second V ditch move the material for the fourth slope. Performs the pitch sheet removing the removing the material with a, from the V ditch, or the crown of the crown sl or slope of the road made um, from the center line of the road toward the shoulder provides the drainage for the ditch with the crowning angle to adjust the blade with the conform the specified angle of the crown. The material stays in windrow from the shoulders road up to the toward the center line. When the pat when the road has ditches ends each side of the first pass down the length of the one shoulder when the length of the pass warrants to turn around and proceed down the length of the opposite shoulder with a blade. Figure ten twenty five twelve and seven shows um the spreading pass. Figure ten twenty nine shows A, um C and B um the flat bottom ditch. All right, adjust uh, relative to the same position when the distance is short to ba short back up the start opposite with the shoulder with the opposite blade angle adjustment, repeating overlapping passes with the man over the side can side cast. Two windrows from the shoulder to the center line where they are combined into one with the center windrows then spread for the blade set with a zero degrees material spill around with the blade ends and spread evenly among the slope crown. No one grading the operator cannot obtain the full visual full visual view of the project's um, projected site with the operator's seat. But for the reason the operator should stop and climb with the grade periodically to take a visual look at the work area to determine the work progress area with the need for the attention. Your high bank cuts. High bank cuts are used to cut and trim slope up, up on ditches, deep cuts, high fill with the circle blade with a position vertical on the side of the grader than the top of the blade is angled forward on over the heel. Note reader operation manual type of the grader with the operating and receiving the instruction setting up the circle blade with the high bank cutting operations. When performing high bank cuts, lean the top of the front wheel to the toe of the blank of the slope. And move the greater into position, set the blank in the slope of the figure 1030, cutting with the make lights um, with the toe over the blade. 
The heel of the blade does not require many adjustments. When too much of the down pressure is placed on the blade, you will lift the, you will lift the side of the greater cut gouge of the, um, in the slope. After the high banking is performed, clean the cut of the material from the base of the slope using the ditching technique. All right, wide side reaching, spreading, a greater use of the spreading piles to loose the material when there is space around the pile. Figure um, 1030 shows a high bank cut. High pile of the should be extended with the well inside angles to side cast of the windrow inside the rear of the tiles um, piles um, reduced using series of side cuts shown in figure 1031. Piles are spread by the greater shown spreader as much as possible. The load to spread and limited to the power of traction with the greater. When there's not enough room, the wind wide, wide side of the um, when there's not um, when there's not enough room, the wide side of the reach of the pile with the um, move material with the not too high front with the wheels driven out of the pile front axle push the top off the pile. Blade cuts as much power per minute so the blade should be positioned while the um well below the highest point so when the greater cuts beyond gets hung up on the piles loose the tracks on the blade can raise to restore the tra wave of the rear wheels the traction is lo lost so the tire is unnecessary tire awareness. All right, road maintenance. The build for the greater blade um, makes materials use of the road surface important function. The road maintenance for the blazing, um, blade mixing pitch of the must be slightly forward at an angle of 30, about 30 degrees for the position of the widest possible spread with the maximum mixing action. In mixing, move the windrow from the side to side. It's success for cuts of the blade. Increase production of several grade for the operate one behind the, one several greater to one behind the other or the same windrow. When the mixing, uh, figure in 2032, when the mixture is wet, the mixing should continue until the mixture is dry. After mixing the material against the taste it into the windrow before spreading and drying the mixing more bitumen and sediment is applied with any leading sections all particles are completed mix and should be coated uniform in color all right figure 1031 shows the wide side reach um spread section one two and three spread section um straddle sections one two and three and spread um section two 1032 shows blade mixing operations um Blade mixing operations are performed with the possible consistent skill operated with the condition surface being maintained. However, the grader is operated with too fast, it will tend to bounce and give the surface of the washboard a bounce appearance that will take additional time than path to connect. The washboarding is not correct connected, not corrected, it will create unnecessary wear of the tear of the traffic you the removal of the work area. Snow removal. The graders can be used with the snow removal in the same way with the snowblower blade circles are adjusted. The side cast snow slushing same with the side casting road material. The cutting edge did not remove the place to strip of the hard rubber blood. Bolted mold board raised the blade at least one half to one inch when the removing the snow from the uneven pavement to runaway surfaces. No failure to make the proper blade adjustments can result with not only damage cutting angel uh, edges belt mold board grader but also gouging tearing up the road over the runway surfaces. All right, finishing grade. The finishing grade is fine cut the fill of the surface to get the final desired ele elevation. The phase of the grading operation is called blue topping. Blue topping takes time and patience for even the experienced operators. All right, when performing blue topping operation, make sure for the, sure the grade cutter edges are not worn. The tires are the same side with the correct air pressure, and the tires are pointed in the right direction from the tires. The tread should not be pointed to get, um, toward the rear of the rear tires. Tread should be pointed toward the front. Adjust the blade and pitch always forward to scrape inside the cut. Or before making any cuts, the project review of the project um, project grade hub um, takes blue tops to know their location and how the material will cut and fill. Note. Um, compaction over the surface must be done with the floor finishing with the grade can start when the finishing with the grade is better than, um, better than one half to one inch than fill. The technique is to perform blue topping operation divide with the project in, in sections. Working one section final grade at a time, the first section is a grade when you now have the reference to point to start from the grade of the other sections as with any other earth moving equipment. It is best to have a level starting point. Um, when working each of the sections, do not let material build up and the power of the grader will run over the windrow with the, to the material at the end of this section. Have the loader pick up the excess material, move it, and then if there's room, the excess of the material can be windrowed off of the project and later removal. When cutting dragging blade over the top of the hub, the final grade is reached for the blade skim to the top of the hub stake. But do not keep the deep of the knock, and knock the hub stake out of the ground. Several passes are required to achieve the final grade. The cut bosses should clean off the top of the stake as you can see them in the next pass. All right, greater estimates. Pl planning of the part of the construction project, how long it will take to complete the construction activity, work output, flow formula, with preparing preliminary estimates for the greater operations shown as the total time equals P times D over S ed times E. The equals to, um, total time is the hour required to complete the greater operation. P is the number of the passes for the greater must take to complete the operation. D is the distance traveled in each pass expressed in miles. S over S and times E is speed expressed in miles per hour and E greater efficiency um, or tr factor. More difficult factors estimating speed uh, speed of the greater the work of the progress on construction.
Any active conditions may require the speed estimate for the grade to increase or decrease work output computed with each of the operation performed with a different rate of speed. The total time of each operation, each with a different speed is added together. Compute the total time of the greater operation table 10, 1, and for the spe um, speed that normally you with the various greater operations. The greater efficiency factor takes into account with the fact that the 60 minute working hour is rarely attained. With, uh, rarely, uh, rarely is attained. Efficient varying varies depending upon the supervision, operator skill, maintenance requirements, site condition. The value of 60% of the average computed in decimal or 0 0.6 efficiency factor can be adjusted on each job. Example problem. Five miles of the gravel road is to be leveled and reshaped using the grader with a 12 foot blade. Six passes are estimated to complete the level of the re, um, reshaping operation. The type of the material passes one and two to perform the second um, gear at 2.8 miles an hour must pass the three to eight, four, three to four, gear, third gear at 3.4 miles an hour. Passes five to six and fourth gear at 5.4 miles an hour. The efficiency job factor is 60%. Calculate how long it will take to complete the job of the total passes 1 and 2. 2 times 5 over 2 times 8 times 0, 6 is 10 over 1.68 or 5.99 hours. Passes 3 and 4 and 3 and 4. 2 times 5 over 3 over 3.4 times 0, 6 is equal to 10 over 2.04 4.9 hours. Total time for passes 5 and 6. 2 times 10 over 5.4 times 0, 06 uh, equals to 10 over 3.24 or 308 hours. Total time project, project f equals 5.9 plus 4.9 plus 308 or 13.88 hours. Always round your answer to the next higher number in case the 3.88 is rounded to 14 point hours. All right, table 10, approximate speed range using various greater operation maintenance speed, 3 to 10, bank sloping, speed miles an hour, 2. So operation spreading, speed miles an hour, 3 to 6. Uh, operation snow removal, speed miles an hour, 10 to 15. Mixing, um, 5 to 10, 15 miles an hour speed. Finishing, 3 to 5. And ditching, 2 to 3. Finishing, 3 to 5. Exemption maximum speed permissible on highway type runways and, high, uh, runways and highways. Greater safety. Safety precautions apply with the graders as follow. To keep the hands and feet with the clutching um, away from proper power-driven parts, clothing worn, operators should be relatively tight with the belt. Do not wear loose jackets, shirt sleeves, or other items closing, but um, because of the danger cutting and moving the parts. Before starting the engine, always check the surface of the brake of the parking brake to ensure that they are proper to work condition. Do not use the steering wheel as a handhold while getting on and off the grader. Keep hands and floors controlled with the free of the water, grease, and mud to ensure it's non-slope control. Never attempt to Start and operate with the grader except for the operate from the operation station. Always keep the grader in the gear when going down the steep hills and grades. When the transportation driving down the road, highway, at night, and during the dry day, but they use the accessory devices as adequate warning of the operators of other vehicles in regard to checking local government regulations. Never drive too close to the edge of the excavation. Do not leave the engine running while making adjusting repairs unless specifically recommended. Never refuel the engine is running. Do not smoke while filling the fuel tank, servicing the fuel system. Never leave the grater unintended with the engine running. Do not oil the, um, the oil grease or adjust any other part of the grater while it's in motion. Check the faulty wiring and loose connections. Keep the firm grip on the steering wheel at all times when spreading um, speed is increased. Do not allow anyone near the grater while the driver is in the seat when the engine is running. Or reduce speed before turning and applying with the brakes. Driver speed slow enough to ensure safety, especially around all around ground. Do not operate the grader so fast that the hillside curves so that you may tip over the wind. Operating your grader, be sure the path ahead is clear of the void conclusion collision with other equipment. Watch the overhead wires. Never touch the wires with any part of the grader. Do not use the grader grader as a battering ram. Keep the working area level as possible. Never allow anyone to work under the raised blade or, or other attachment. Do not leave the blade or other attachment raised position when it's not in use. Allow always you lower it to the ground. But be sure to stand clear of the grade before lowering the material of the um, blade and parking the grader on level of the ground across the slope. Remove all the trash accumulation from the engine of the operator station and daily. Wear any required personal protective equipment. Um, scrapers. Scrapers are designed with a self-loading, hauling, spreading material with a long haul, earth-moving operation. Scrapers are most efficient with operating light, medium material, the near free of the root stumps and boulders. Heavy consolidated material require the ripped, ripper equipped dozer to rip open the surface. This is a loading operation, pushing the scraper through the cut to achieve the maximum load. The dozer pushing the scraper is referred to as a push cat. The scrapers are bolted with on top of on top, top between the scootable loading crane, clamshell conveyor, or front end loader. The first type of the scrapers used in the available construction force is equipped with either a starting single engine or twin engine. 
Figure 1033 shows on twin engine scrape that one engine is front used in the pull to pull and the other is one is rear and is to push. Another type of the scraper used in the Navy construction force is the paddle wheel scraper found in your 1034, also called um, 1033 shows the scraper and then 1034 shows the paddle scraper with the paddles. Um, notice the paddles on the paddle scraper. Um, your scraper notif um um scraper notif um nomenclature starting at the tractor you have the vertical squ vertical swiveling connection front end air cleaner and the scraper gooseneck your steering ram ejector spill guard rear engine bowl stiffeners bowl um side cutters cutting edge and apron Elevated scrapers and self-loading scraper. The scraper is the most project that requires no push of the cap with the load in the ideal small medium that either drop for the scraper is loaded since pan for the top of the belt and means for the pedal one of the earth elevator right after the material has been cut with the cutting edge. Uh, material is not forced on the top on other scrapers. The load material can also be unloaded with the battle sweet and wheels for giving the operator more control over the desired depth of the fill. With the variety of scrapers used in the Naval Construction Forces, each operator responsible for reading the operators in the manual obtain the detailed information on each of the model, each make and model. All right, scraper components. Scraper components are made in two-section tractor and scraper. The tractor contained with the engine is driven with the train, train and wheel. The hydraulic pump with the operator with the tractor convert, connected with the scraper. The vertical kingdom pin swivel connection, usually two parts of the upper and lower pin with when our steering connection per, um, permits the turn of 80 to 90 degrees at each of the side of the center line scraper. This also longitudinal horizontal hinge that permits the two-section independently side to side. Gooseneck of the scraper arches up to allow the space for, um, for the tractor wheel to roll under it until it's uh, in, in, under its own turns. All right, figure ten thirty six of the um, scraper bowl or apron and a, um, apron and injector. Show the bowl, the apron, and the ejector. All right, the gooseneck that winds with a very massive crossbeam becomes the pair of the arms extending backward for union fastening side um, side of the scraper bowl. The gooseneck carries the steering cylinder, lifting cylinder, level arm of the arm apron, the bear of the hoist of the cylinder of the bowl, scraper nomenclature figure in 935. Scrapers have three basic operations, the bowl, apron, and injector the bowl. The bowl figure 36 um, view A was um, boxed with a rigid apron with a movable front with the ejector for the moving back with the forward edge for the bowl is fixed to with the cutting edge. The cutting edge are made with a air resistance seal bow. Both at the bottom of the bowl, three main cutting edges are as follows. The straight cutting edge is most efficient for the smooth finishing gray. The curving cutting edge penetrates more than the straight edge. And the three piece of cutting edge has the center split piece position ahead of the two pieces um, pieces deeper. Penetration center piece is referred to as figure in 1037. The bottom of the front side of the bowl is used with unbolted wear plates called side cutters. The side cutters normally receive less wear than cutting edges. The cutting edges that are no, the cutting edges that are worn damaged should be replaced and prevent wear of the scrapper bowl. Or the apron figure 1036 view B with the form of the forward section view with the mount with the bottom of the bowl with the assembly that is when closed the rest of the cutting edge of the, um, will rest at the cutting edge. The apron hydraulically control the lever in the operator's cab. The apron is lifted and moved the upward forward of our enough to leave wheel for the front bowl to open. Ejector. The ejector is a real wall big, figure, um, wall, rear wall of the bowl figure 1036. Most common injectors hydraulically controlled moves forward and horizontally forcing the load out of the bowl and support with the rollers riding on the floor out on track welds inside. Tracks welded to, onto the side of the bowls. Figure um, 1037 shows the scraper cutting edges, side bit, side cutting edge, um, ed bit, end bit cutting edge, center cutting um, edge stringer, and bowl side sheet. Alright, control levers. Most scrapers have three basic control levers located on the right side of the upper sheet. The first lever of the bowl lever, the view, um, figure 1038 view A. The bowl lever raises the and lowers the bowl. The middle lever, apron control lever, the figure 1038 view B. The apron control lever closes the apron, allowing the required amount of material to enter the ejected um, from. Alright, A is your bowl lever, and then B is your apron lever, and C is your ejector lever. Uh, speed control, speed control, scraper control levers. The bowl third level of the ejector level of the figure 139 of UC with the ejector force of the dirt out of the bowl maximum hydraulic and cylinder object efficiency engine should be operated at maximum rate speed with the control levers moving in an extreme operating position. Scraper operation. The grid engine bound is available. The engine running at the top governs speed. The proper transmission gear ratios must also be obtained. Uh, engage them, um, obtain the maximum engine power output. When the transmission is played too high with the gear ratio of the engine power, the result of the stall condition in the transmission converter. 
So long the converter prevents the engine from operating maximum efficiency resolve the rapid overheating from premature wear of the converter and transmission. The transmission must be downshifted correctly while the scraper does motion to prevent damage to the powertrain. Improper downshifting over speed of the transmission engine usually resolve the premature wear of an accessory unnecessary transmission breakdown. Whenever the scraper is from the, the full stop, they'll always scrape the start of the, the start of the transmission low gear depresses the ignition of the throttle the degree of the acceleration required wide open throttle provides the fast acceleration under full load conditions. When running downgrade, avoid overspeeding the engine. Keep the scraper or spade or below the maximum speed of the transmission range engaged. As for the general rule, the downhill scraper should not exceed 5 mils an hour more than it's attained with level of the ground and transmission ratio engaged. Alright, when the scraper is selected for the transmission ratio is too high, slow to the scraper of the surface of the brakes until the transmission can be properly downshifted the required for the range for the grain. On um, downhill, the speed can, the speed can be slow if necessary, lowering the scraper of the bowl until the cutting edge of the drag is enough to slow the scraper of the required speed with the permanent blo- proper downshifting and stopping. Do not fan the brakes repeatedly, depressing the releasing the practice. The practice can reduce the air pressure below the point required for the proper re- um, braking. The air pressure system can indicate 105 to 125 psi on the air pressure gauge for the effect of braking. The gauge is indicated that the pressure drop below 105 for the long time. Shut down the scraper until the trouble is corrected. All right, 10:35 and 10:39 shows entering the cut, and 10:40 shows loading the bowl, and then 10:41 shows loaded bowl, um, head heap loaded and sh- um, struck. Uh, the scraper work cycle has four phases: the operating, loading, hauling, spreading, unloading, and returning of the cut. When loading, entering the cut with the ejector position in the rear of the bowl, open the um, apron enough to allow the material to enter the bowl. Normally, four to eight inches above the level of the ground of the bowl. Then lower the bed, um, bowl to cut the one and one half inch of the gray gear of the transmission gauge. But it depends on the nature of the material being cut. For its loose material, relatively high gear may be cut, uh, used. High heavy compacted material, low gears used. However, to obtain full load. You should use the lower gear even in loose material. The scraper proceeds through the cut. The material is loosened with the scraper. The cutting edge is forced into the bowl by forwarding the motion and over the scraper of the N39. Note the avoiding spinning of the scraper tires during the cutting operation. Spinning tires non direct um, direct productive, causing expensive um, premature wear of the tires and differential transmissions. Differentials and transmissions. Material entering the back, um, bowl boils back against the ejector forward the, against the apron. Figure 1040 the bowl with a fill with a capacity. Normally, um, commonly known as heap, the closed apron at the same time, or the bowl one with two inches above the ground, 1041. Only the script that's equipped with the dirt inverter fault valves or apron hoist system. Bowl automatically starts raising while the apron control lever is held in the lower position. After the script is fully loaded, the bowl is raised and the control of the travel to over the cut with the scraper bowl with the height with the spread out with the materials with the piles front with the cutting edges. The bush cat supply extra power with the, the scraper during the loading operation. The bush cat is used and it should be positioned 45 degrees to off the lane to be cut. The scraper should be started loading after the push cat makes a smooth cut into the rear of the push block. Or right, shove the push block in figure 1042. All right, note that the push cap operator should be extremely cautious with no hitting of the rear scraper tire with the dozer blade. The push cap operators must ensure that the reinforced section of the dozer blade and center of the scraper rear push block. The additional push cap operator must be alert turns made with the scraper and might cover the push cap to apply unequal pushing force. The good result that the dozer blade contacting the scraper rear tires causing the scraper to jackknife. The scra- um, push cap should continue pushing after the scraper is fully loaded, giving the scraper a bull bust, bust and leaving the cut. All right, hauling. After the scraper is fully over the reach of the hull of the road, the operator should rave with the bowl with the travel the height with the proceed with the fill with the dump there with the highest gear range pra- um, practical. The bowl travel the he- um, height should be no higher than the need with the clear of the any obstruction with the hull road. The low bowl height allows the better control of the scraper, keeping the center of the gravity low, prevents loss of time need with the lower the bowl. As the scraper approaches the fill area, the best bowl with height is height with which the bowl must be and when the load is spread. When hauling down cheap grade, lower the bowl until the blade, um, blade drags to slowly scrape down, down, down. When the traveling on a slippery hull road, cutting the edge of the should close to the road as possible to allow the fast, the emergency stop, and the dropping of the bowl. When traveling over hull roads, avoid holes and large obstruction may damage the scraper tires. When making sharp turns, allow enough clearance over the length of the width for the scraper to keep the scraper on the road. Scraping and unloading. When approaching the fill, fill area, lower raise the scraper bowl to depth of the fill desired spread of the scraper that must be adjusted for the depth and such of the high speed for the thin spread, the slower speed for depth deep spread. So start speed is um, spreading raise the apron and gauge the against the uh, apron control level to allow the material to fall out of the bowl size apron, but only depends on demand. 
it depends mainly upon the depth of the spread and the type of the material being spread. For example, a thin layer of free flowing sand needs to be fairly smooth in the apron, opening, and high travel. Speed, while the thin spread of the wet clay will need larger operating and slower travel speed. All right, after the operating apron opening that has been adjusted, the dirt flowing through the op opening lenses um, lessens that gave the ejector level the finishing up with the scraper bowl. When the scraper is empty, then gave it the ejector level the lever to return the ejector to the rear of the bowl lower the apron. All loading techniques are as follows. Keep the scraper moving while unloading. Stopping um, when unlo unloading on soft fills can cause production time, needless shifting, and possible mirroring down of the scraper. Always make an even spread so the next trip will be not in rough. If possible, traveling out of fill pass back over the area you have just filled or compact with large scraper tires. Or returning to the cut. After the scraper is unloaded, has reached reach all road, the road, return to the cut as soon as possible. When returning to the cut, carry the scraper bowl high enough to avoid the hauling uh, road objects just low enough to save handling of the scraper. Carry the bowl low, uh, low all out of the quick lowering of the bowl to stop the scraper in the event of the emergency. All plenty of the room of the rear of the wheel scraper to avoid uh, obstacles when making turns, uh, right, tight turns and making safe speed with that condition of the haul roads. All right, working difficulty materials. Special operating techniques are required for the pursuing scraper up with the difficult, difficult materials such as wet, sticky material, loose sand, or gravel with large objects. Wet and sticky materials. When unloading wet and sticky materials, do not try to speed any um, the material into the too thin. I'll always keep the bowl with a high enough to allow the material to flow back under the scraper. Though open the apron wide enough to allow the easy flow of the out of the bowl. Bro, bring the ejector forward with the short, the snappy movements of the ejector. Control the lever to shake the material loose from it. It allows the little time between the ejector between movement to avoid contact with the materials between the apron and the ejector. In some cases, it's shifting the ejector between forward and reverse. Give the material that has brought forward a chance to fall out of the apron open opening. Note when the material spread too thin, the bowl is too low, the material will pack against the scraper cutting edge inside of the bowl will not eject. All right, large lo, loose sand and gravel. Sand is free flowing material that tends to float with the head of the scraper cutting edge with them being low. With the same with the heap of the scraper low with loading and avoid being bogged down in the sand using a technique called pumping loading. The pump load enter the cut with a paper in about three feet with the scraper cutting edge lowered lower end of the, end of the sand cutting through the cut into the engine starting load that lug down. The lower apron into the sand has been piled in the front with the scraper cutting edge raised on two or three inches at a time. Do not complete the closed apron drop the, the bowl deep of the engine stall with the pump loading and the technique will, will ordinarily allow the scraper to get full of the um, load with the spread. when spreading it always spread it as thin as possible. Keep scraper moving until fill, and fill, and then spreader, spreader always better compaction makes it easier to travel over the fall. To obtain the full load when loading gravel, the maybe have the pump load with the performed sand. The apron may be hard to close with the down the stone and getting cut, but between the apron cutting edge, the technique used to avoid stone um, is back up the few inches with the blade and still on the ground when closing the apron. Then should be forced the stones out by allowing the apron to close all the way. All right, large objects. Scrapers are not designed to dig and transport large objects. However, they may be used for this purpose when more suitable equipment is not available. Approach object with an apron and scraper the full on bowl fully raised. The object is too clear is too, is too large to clear underneath the tractor. Bring the tractor past object for the object for the drive wheels and under a few inches beyond it. Pivot the tractor sharply turns. The object should allow the tractor to bypass the object. Bring the cutting edge into the position of the loading figure 1043. When the tractor reaches the sharpest angle of the turn, the bring and sh um, scraper cutting edge with a few inches of the object lower the bowl with the ape apply the down pressure. Move forward when the cutting edge hooks underneath it. The object lightly lift the bowl while in, while inching forward. The object split, um, slips into the cutting edge. Back up and try again. Uh, you may have to approach the object with a different direction to grip the um, to grip to load the object. Shove the object around with the keep the injector in the full forward position. When the injector is in, picked up with the carrier, the place the injector in a normal full back position. Close the apron completely after the object. Figure 1043 shows scraper and maneuver or load large load objects. See how it's put in the side and then into the right. Has been loaded, scraped up, up, up the little dirt with a push of the object further into the bowl. To unload the object, shift the ejector forward from the reverse several times to move the object under so it will fall out. After the object has been unloaded, turn the tractor sharply so the scraper clears the un unloaded object. Don't be extremely careful the handling large objects. Observe that the objects, such as large rocks, can cause damage, denting, bending, and straining parts. Damage may also be done in excellent clothes with large rocks during ordinary digging. 
Hard right, production techniques. Scraper production tapes and are used and achieve most of the amount of the work with the scrapers of silent techniques as follows. Um, downhill loading and achieve the force of the gravity of the scraper. The larger loads within less time. The van, uh, the force of the gravity is 20 pounds per gross time of the weight per 1% of the down grill. Greater the downhill pulls add more material per load of the add material weight to increase the total gravitational pull. Straddle loading gains time and every third um, trip that makes the center strip this load with less resistance than full cut. The first scraper that has been cut with the second scraper should make a parallel cut, leave four foot or five foot wide in the line between the two cuts as shown in figure 1044. The third scraper can straddle the silent material to achieve the fast and less resistant load. All right, backtrack loading. Backtrack loading is a method where the cut is fairly short, um, short and loading with the both direction impractical. Shown in Figure 1045, too much time spent by the backtracking, moving um, push gap with the next load. The pack of the cut with wide enough though. Um, other methods tired. Shuttle loading is used with the shut, um, the cuts where in the possible the both directions. Shown in Figure 1046, push gap pushes one scraper in one direction and turns the push of the loading scraper in the opposite direction. All right, 1040, 1044 um, shows straddling load. Um, 1045 shows the backtrack level. Um, show the um, push cat loading scraper loaded, and then back track loading. Shuttle loading forward, and then um, the shuttle loading. Or right, chain loading is used when there where the care is fairly long, make pop of the push cat to pick up the two more with the scraper load with the backtracking shown figure ten forty seven. The push cat to, um, loads of one scraper the move with the behind another scraper the moving parallel to the first adjacent line lane. All right, optimum loading is operation with the loading time of the maximum output. Theoretical, the push loader scraper should be forward loaded within one minute within the distance of a hundred feet. More time the distance may be used with the other material with the hull is large enough. Uh, long enough to advance the material, great enough to offset the hauling of fewer loads for the long, load in a longer time. When the scraper is backed up and the cutting of the way with the push assistance, or the push cat assistance let the scraper cut without attaining the heap load. Push cats are waiting for the scraper to increase the loading on time with the chief of the maximum loading. Make sure the push cats are all used the weighted time dress cut. Some um, I call it cases when increase the production, even the dozer full time dress press the cuts, and at the end of the work day, take the time and shape the cut of the drainage operation. Good drainage. All right, no, maintain adequate drainage throughout the cut and fill operation, reduce compulsory down caused by bad weather. R rule of thumb, use the computing number of the push cats required for the scraper operation, divide the scraper cycle time, push cat cycle time. When computing the cycle time for the scraper, total the time and unloading, uh, hauling, unloading, and returning, for instance. Figure 1047 shows the chain loading. Um, five minute scraper to the time, the deliver, divided with the one minute of the push cat time, so I call the five scraper push. Per push cat turns when making turns within the short radius possible high speed with the um, speeds making the turns with my um, the cut um, cut and spreads operation using sequence figure 1048. Hall road hall road should be loaded with the lead at one time with the not waste of the maneuvering with the scraper hall road with the drastically change of the elevation reducing production hall load should be kept in good condition moist with the radi roads kept the weight moist from not warm wet then put packs in the hard smooth and surface the permits the higher street trouble speed the moisture all occur trolls dust and that gets into the parts of the scrape the result the increased lubrication problems of the premature wear with the additional control of the dust and always better visibility. If the hull over the road of the dirt road needs grading with the winter returning the cutting to maintain the road occasional scraping blade with the perform the opening of the apron approximately twelve inches above the cutting edge and injector position forward. With six inches cutting edge, the bowl over the cutting edge scrape the one to two inches of the road surface watching watching the road and the operator can um Cutting action over the trim shell, small rate of cut, um, cut, um, carry the material for the villain depression scrape to travel the hull road. The grading operation can be performed in second, third gear, but depending upon the road condition, grading should be only done with the road surface with the rough and rough and the ruts and rough and small spot. Um, rough, ruts, rough, roof, rough and sm soft spots. All right. Note: Scrapers haul the road should only tra be on travel the highest gear and the safe the safe of the road. Scrapers spacing efficiently. Scrapers should be teamed um, teamed by the um, teamed by by speed whenever the possible. The fastest scrapers should be assigned to one section of the job while the slower ones on another. They should be the different haul roads if possible. No scrapers can travel faster than scraper ahead, make um, passing only an increase of the chance of the accident. Scrapers operate that can help with the traffic control. Speeding operation causes the close the inning along gap slowing down the two close. Um, the efficiency spacing support with the optimum of the push cat when unloading and lagging far behind the next scraper. The scraper lead at the beginning of the um, 
Whenever the traveling too close to the next scraper speed, um, load far end of the, uh, at, the, at the end of the fall. Keep the scraper bull and close to the ground as possible. Lower its center of gravity and keep them upright. All right, 1048 shows the cut and spread techniques. Re plan to um, travel the cycle to in eliminate unnecessary um, turns. All right, the right way to cut and spread two ways. Um, go um, spread, cut in the middle, and spread on the ends. Wrong. Spread, cut in the middle, and spread at the end. Uh, was straight, and then like if move both ends to cut and spread, and cut and uh, cut and spread. Number of turns complete, two loads, two turning time, 20, 25 minutes of the quarter mile, and 25, quarter, quarter minute per turn, 50 and five and a half turns complete, load four, turn time, 20, um, quarter minute per time, one, not one. All right, neat. Oh, no, keep the scraper bowl as close to the ground as possible. Lower the center of the gravity to keep it upright to spreading. Technique for the spreading operation is follow. Spread the first load of the star of the fill. Travel the subsequent loads over the previous full fill. Provide lift to a small. Make either following spread at the end of the previous layer. Finishing the spread in one length enough um, before starting the next newer lane. So, um, some of the rollers begin compaction. Route the, uh, route the scraper to complete the fill or the compact the fill. Overloading the scraper tire tracks to aid for the compaction of the entire a area. Reduce the um, recovery. Compaction time necessary with the roller spread with the highest gear promoted with the condition and fill or the terrain, fill area of the terrain. No, slowly discharge the loads uh, in low speed. Slow down the production cycle time. Do not waste time on the fill. Assume the load spread to get the scraper back to the on the haul road to return the cut and place the exit of the, from the fill to avoid stop the ground to avoid detours around trees and other obstacles. As shown. In Figure 1049, make the full on fill high on the outside edge. Prevent the scraper from sliding over the outside of the edge. Help them maintain the accurate slope of the desired height of the fill. Which is not made with the manner of the scrape tends to work away. And the edge filling making it hard to maintain the correct slope of the inclination of the weather build up the lower center up the drainage. Sca all right, scraper safety. Safety precautions apply. The scraper is followed. Never operate the scraper at speeds that are unsafe. Always wear a seatbelt. Uneven terrain can cause violent tilt over the scraper, causing possibility of personal injury throwing you off or against the steering wheel if not secured properly to the operator's seat. Our 1049 shows the proper placement of fill material. Right way to maintain the fill slope to make the fill on the high on the outside prevent the scraper from sliding over the slope. Accurate slopes can cause the maintain as desired height elimination necessary for the handwork. If the wet condition prevails, arrange the drainage for the prevent water pooling in the center of the fill. Wrong way. Result incorrect method. The scraper will slide aside over the side of the wall. Damage the slope will be caused. Impossible to maintain an accurate degree of sloping having tendency to work from the edge of the fill. All right, plug up the scraper bowl with the apron before performing the work on the cutting edge of the scraper. Keep the operator clear of the grease and the oil and mud. When cutting, the operator slip or fall. Never kick over the scraper, uh, the scraper out of gear when going downhill. Increase speed with the wheel might control of the scraper. Very difficult. Keep the scraper in, in gear at all times. The cutting edge of the control of speed. When the brakes fail, hold the loader and lower the drag of the scraper bowl. When scraping, the scraper and shove the apron with the clothes of the bowl of the ground. Do not spread when turning. When working on slips, always turn uphill. Do not drop the bowl suddenly. Ease over the cutting edge of the ground. Load the spread of the going downgrade whenever possible. When constructing a fill, keep the outside edge high and center of the low of the permanent scraper for sliding over the edge. When scraper begins to fall off the oh, off the fill with the shear of the downhill, drop the, drop the bowl rapidly and accelerate maximum RPM. Do not attempt to turn the scraper back up the slope. Do not stop the forward motion of the scraper when there is danger of un up until tipping over. Uh, damage of a uh, unit tipping over. When uh, where an where an area where any required protective equipment such as hard hats and seals those safety shoes. Chapter eleven: Dozers and Rollers.